Hi guys, I'm back with a gel polish mini. So Born P Pretty was kind enough to send me over some more nail products to try. So this is their 6-in-1 nail glue. This nail glue can be used for several things. And so it can be used for base gel, extens extension gel, nail glue, nail strengthener, watercolor gel, and top coat. And so I have four colors here. These are their jelly nude uh, polishes. And so I'm just opening those up. And I will have those swatched so that you can well I will I do have those swatch already um the thing I like about their polishes is that uh when they sent me these polishes they were individually wrapped and sealed so I had to um break the seal on them to open them up and so they're jelly of course jelly uh gel polishes so you have to um put on several layers to build opacity and so this is that uh wine color so you can see on the swatch stick that it is sheer very very pretty um, nice color perfect for fall in my opinion the next color that we have swatch kind of is like a salmon um to me nice color as well um i think this will go with any skin tone and so i do like that kind of salmon pink type color and then we have jn 18 which is also a jelly nude uh, now this one is a more vibrant pink i do love me a good pink although blue is my favorite color and here is that swatch and i like to put my swatch sticks against my skin tone so i can get a feel for how it will look if i were to apply that color the next color is another jelly nude it is uh, jelly nude number 14 and this color it kind of looks like mauve to me I really like peach and so that's a nice neutral color as well I could see doing that color with maybe some patterned nail stamping um, and just keep it simple and then I did purchase separately on Amazon Born Pretty's uh, super top coat this is a white top coat along with their base gel because last time I did not have it so I said let me go and purchase it because I don't like to mix up different um, gel polishes and so guys just hang out with me while I do this gel polish application So I decided to use Jelly Nude 14 and Jelly Nude 20. So 20 was the wine color and then the other one is more of a that light pink. And so um, I'm just applying that in thin even layers on my nail. I will apply one coat of color and cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. They applied nice and no problems just like before. No issues whatsoever. And Born Pretty gel polishes are relatively, um, they're affordable. Let me say it that way. They are affordable. And so um, again, no issues. They didn't run. Um, of course, if you overload your brush with gel polish, just like with any gel polish product, you will um, flood your cuticles and side walls but if you happen to get gel polish on your skin you want to take a nail brush with alcohol and clean that up now I did notice with the um, 
the wine color it was a little streaky it was streaky after the second coat so I end up again this is sheer and I end up applying a total of three coats no I did not record all three coats but um, I did two coats on camera and one off camera curing for 60 seconds in between each coat Again, I did a total of three coats and so I'm going in with um, you see how that color is pretty still you can tell that it's a sheer color and so you could go in with four whatever do what you do and so I'm going in with Poshinelle Designs uh, decals fall romance I thought this color um, would look looked <laughs> that this color would look good or these decals let me say it that way would look good with um, this color however it was a little bit lighter than I had thought so this time I cut the decal decals out and I sprayed them with water off camera and so I'm removing excess water from the decal um, and I'm stamping it on the nail I think, actually think I lost some footage here but anyway so I cut the decals out close to the decal as possible place them on the stamper head sprayed it with water removed excess water on the decal so gave that a few seconds so the uh, water would allow the decal to release from the paper backing cleaned off excess water slid the paper backing off dabbing off um, again excess water and I'm applying that those decals to my nail and then I will smooth those out as much as possible So after I smooth the wrinkles out and let the decal dry for a few seconds, I'm going in with Born Pretty 6-in-1 Nail Glue. Again, there's several uses. So here I'm using it to help um, 
encapsulate the decal because I just don't want to go on with top coat you can do this with base with the layer of base coat and then top coat but this is a little thicker has a thicker viscosity and so I'm going in and I'm going to apply that over the nails um, that have the decal and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then I'm going to apply top coat and cure as well well not top coat take that back I'm gonna apply this cure for 60 seconds and then I'm also going to use this since it's glue gel I'm going to use it to apply some cuticle rhinestones and so I will apply that and the rhinestones did not budge um, I'm applying that to my cuticle area um, to my um, index finger I apply cuticle rhinestones to the rest of the nails that don't have a decal and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then go in with top coat curing the top coat for 60 seconds here is the finished look dry down nice and shiny so you want to apply your favorite cuticle oil and so guys please like this video if you found value leave a comment and let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel it is free so i thank you guys for watching i hope you have a wonderful week and i will see you next week